All right, guys, so as promised, I'm going to be showing you how to install an SRT light up airbag into a scat pack. This will even work on a regular V6. If you don't have a light up airbag in your Charger, your Challenger, your Durango, or your Jeep, um, this method will teach you on how to make that work. So, as you can see, this one here has just a regular Dodge airbag. These come standard on all your SXTs, your RTs, and some of your scat packs too. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to switch that over and install this. This looks a lot better, it lights up. And to make this work, so I do offer these for sale on my website, uh, which we'll talk about that here in a second. But to make this work, you will need to buy one of these harnesses. Now I do offer these for sale. Not a lot of people know what this is. Um, but this plug over here is what makes the airbag light up. Let me see if I can focus on that. This plug over here is the most important plug, which plugs in right in there. So I'll show you how to remove the airbag. Um, it's very easy. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. Now, it's kind of hard to demonstrate with one hand, but when you get in there, what you're trying to do is this lock. Come on. Okay. This lock over here, when you're pressing into the, the steering wheel, you're trying to press this in to release it from the steering wheel. Now, there's two locks over here. This is a brand new one. That's why they're still locked in, but it's supposed to look like like this so when you get into your car now please do this at your own risk if you don't feel comfortable on working on this you might as well take this to somebody who's professional and uh, knows what they're doing please don't do this and come back and try to blame me for any of this <laughs> so um, there's two holes on each side right there's this one over here and then there's this one over here right over there so what you'll do is you'll press this in. Like I said, it's harder to do with the one-handed, but you'll press that in. And what I showed you on that airbag, that's what you're doing to this. You're pressing in both clips and this will pop right off. So I'm gonna do that now real quick. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll show you how it looks when this is released. And that's it. Literally took me two seconds. So this pops off. Now, if you feel comfortable um, on working on this with the airbag or not the airbag, with the battery disconnected, then go ahead, pop your trunk and take off the terminals and then you can work on it afterwards. So, once you got this off, there's gonna be some plugs back here. Let's see if I can focus on this. Okay, these two, these two over here are your airbag plugs, your pigtails. So what you'll need is a pick tool. You'll need one of these. Please do not use a screwdriver on this. You will mess up the pigtails and then you have to buy a whole new clock spring. So use one of these, a real sharp pick tool. And then you just very gently, you'll release the locks. You'll pull on this lock over here. That pops off. That comes off just like that. These are color matched. So the blue matches with the blue. The other side is yellow, matches with the yellow. You cannot get those mixed up. Just like that. These come off just like that. So this one is yellow. You'll put it back into the yellow. The blue goes back in the blue. Very easy. Now this one over here is for the horn. So what you'll do, once again, you'll use one of these tools. You'll put it right through there. Come on. You'll pop that off. Just take your time with it. Just like that that comes off put that tool down that comes off just like that and then here's your airbag so that was a plug i was disconnecting right now we see that tab over there you'll release that and this plug will come right off this is what you're trying to release over here so this is off this is your old airbag now this is how it looks underneath you got these two plugs for your airbag. These stay with the car. These do not come off. You have this plug over here and you have this plug over here. Once again, you'll use a pick tool like one of these. You'll press this tab in and then you'll pop this off. So this tab over here, this clip, you'll press it in and it'll come right off. Other side, same thing. This one's a little bit harder to do, but same exact step. You'll press this in. comes right off so see this tab this tab is a little bit smaller so you got to be careful with not breaking it but it's over here press that in comes right off now 
on on these on the sky packs chargers and challengers you have a screw that holds the harness behind this tab so that's when you'll grab your other tool i think it's a t15 one of these and you'll remove that screw so you can get from behind the harness this should be the right one you'll unscrew that and this will pop right off just move these out of your way so it can be easier to work on again i'm doing this with one hand so just bear with me That's the screw you wanna take off. Just keep this over here so you don't lose it. Now, as you can see, this tab will pull forward. This tab will pull forward and the harness will go from underneath it. So now you have these plugs. You got this plug over here. You got this plug over here. And you got these over here. So you got one, two, three, and four. Once you disconnect those, so let me try to do this one hand again. There's a tab over there, you see that? So you press this in. There, I'll use my tool. You'll press that in and then release it. And that will come off just like that. Now you have another one over here. Once again, press the tab. And if you want to make it easier, just use your tool. But this one looks like it's pretty simple, just like that. And then the other side is the same thing. That's one, and that's another one. Okay, so now you have all your connectors disconnected off the harness for the steering wheel. This is what this is called. Now, you have two harnesses running on each side. Now, this is very important. If you have a heated steering wheel, which this car does, this one has the heated and vented seats, has a heated steering wheel, you have to pay attention to this part. The heated steering wheel on the on the sky packs isn't the same plug that I offer to sell. So let me show you what I mean. This is the harness, and this is what you need to pay attention to. Okay. So this is the plug for the heated steering wheel that will be plug and play on um, the 2021s and up. On the 2016s or 2015 to 2020, this is how the harness is. They got two separate harnesses running for the um, heated steering wheel, and then they, they merged into a four pin connector, just like this one. Now this is a connector that I sell you, okay? Now if you have a setup like this, if your heated steering wheel has two separate harnesses going to each side, you will need to splice into this connector. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this over here, is the harness it's over here it's hard to reach it's over here so what you'll do is you'll cut this from right over here this has two wires inside of it this is not the one this one here is for these plugs or these for these buttons so not this one not this black one it's part of the actual harness you know what let me make this easier for you guys i'm gonna remove it from under this tab and then i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about give me one second all right, so to make it easier, I removed the two screws that hold in these um, these little buttons, and they are these two black ones over here. So you remove them on each side, and then you can remove the harness that's tucked away behind this. So we take this off, you just bend it out the way just like that, just like this, and then you pull this harness off. Then this tab comes forward, and you'll take this off over here. So these two, once again, these two go into the sides, these are for your your, um, your heated steering wheel. Now, if you don't have a heated steering wheel, you're not gonna see these harnesses coming off on each side and you can disregard this whole thing. All you gotta do is plug and play this harness and then your light up airbag will work. So before we splice into this, I'm gonna act like you don't have a heated steering wheel and we're just gonna be installing this and then your light up airbag is gonna work. So very easy. This plug, if you don't have a heated steering wheel, you're gonna disregard this. You're not gonna use this plug. This over here is gonna plug into your clock spring just like this that's one and then you have this plug over here is gonna plug into your original one it's hard to do this one hand it's 
let me put the camera down for a second plugs in just like that and then you have on the other side you have this one and this one plugs into the clock spring as well just like that hear that click and then you have two more you have this one and you have this one they both plug in to the original harness this is a plug and play kit other than the heater steering wheel on different models so let me plug these two in so this plugs in over here again if you have a heater steering wheel you can leave this one blank and then on the other side you got two more now if i'm going to be installing this 100 percent i'll be tucking in these wires behind this i'll be tucking this in behind this one over here and then i'll tighten everything back up plug in the airbag and i'll make sure it works but since this is going to be a temporary install i'm not going to be doing all that but just make sure oopsie i almost forgot one there's two on each side so you got this one over here it'll plug in to that one over there so you have one two three and four so total plugs you got two on each side so it makes them four and you got one on the clock spring on this side and one on the clock spring on this side so you got two four six plus the heated steering wheel one the six connectors in total i'm sorry seven connectors in total now this one over here is going to be for your light up airbag now i'm gonna shut off this light i'm gonna plug in my airbag you'll plug it in let me turn it back on so you can see you'll plug it in not that one where's my light up Ugh, wrong airbag this is my light up okay this plug will connect right in there and then I'm, I'll show you guys how it works right after. I'm not gonna plug in the airbag because once again, this is coming back off. I'm reinstalling the original one back in there, but I want to show you that this harness will make this light up work. So let me plug that in. It's a moment of truth. I'm gonna shut this light off. As you can see, the light is off as of now. Now this is powered. Well, the way I made this harness is it powers off the light. So turn on the light. And there you go. Now this one in particular is white, but they do come in red as well. Like I said, I do stock the white ones. I have a few more available and I'll leave the link in the description if you're trying to buy one of these. The red ones are out of stock, but I should have some more coming in sometime next week. So as you can see, it lights up with the other lights. Now, if I do shut off the light, the light turns off. This one is not gonna make it run when the car is off. This is a very plug and play harness. It's just that on different models with this, uh, with this heated steering wheel option, you do have to splice this in to make it work. Now, the way you make that work, let me disconnect this so I can talk to you about that. So this over here, when you're unplugging it, you'll use one of these pick tools. Comes off just like that. Okay. So in every order that I ship out, it's gonna have one of these things, this instruction. And it even gives you a number. This is a text only number, free assistance. If you need help on installing this, you'll text that number. And I have somebody in, in particular to help you with this. So this over here are the four wires that come with the harness that I sell you. So the harness that I sell you on the heated steering wheel, you have a white, I'm sorry, you have a black, you have a yellow, a violet, and you have a gray. Right over here, you have a black, a yellow, a violet, and a gray. And they're, e they're even numbered, one through four. So pin number one, let me disconnect this. Okay. So looking at it like this, your first pin, number one, is going to be this one to your left, right? So number one, you have black. Number two, you have yellow. Number three, you have violet. And number four, you have gray. Now you're going to ask me what you need this information for. So on this harness... On the right and left, these colors are going to be different. Now, I have one that's already cut, and I'm going to show you what I mean. And then all you'll need to do is splice into these wires, and then that's how you can make your heated steering wheel work. So let me grab the other harness. Okay, so here's a sample harness that I took off one of my steering wheels that I use for parts. And this is the same harness that you're going to have in your car if your setup was like this. So if this was installed, let's use this as an example. These were all plugged in. These are the same connectors that I disconnected. Now, if you splice into your harness, which is this over here, if you cut this and you strip the wires, it's going to look like this. So on the left-hand side, if this is plugged in like this, on the left-hand side, inside of here, you're going to have two wires. You're going to have a black and white. On the right-hand side, you're going to have two more wires. It's going to be a yellow 
and there's going to be a white and green. Now, this is how you're going to make your heated steering wheel work. The plug I sell you is going to be different on the older models, okay? It's going to be different colors on three of them except one. Now, I'm explain. This is the sheet that you're going to get in your box if you order this kit off of me. Number one, Ian tells you pigtail and pin number one, which is over here, is black. It tells you black is ground, spliced into black wire, same color. So on your harness, the ground is also black. So what you'll do, you'll strip this wire, you'll strip the wire I sent you, and you'll connect these together. Now your ground is done. Number two is yellow. Number two is yellow. Yellow is the signal wire, and it says splice into the white wire. So on your harness, your, your signal wire is going to be the white one. So on my harness, it's going to be yellow. So you'll strip this and you'll put the yellow one with the white one. Okay, now you have two more down. The third one is going to be this violet one or this purple one. And it tells you the violet one, you're going to strip into the yellow wire. So on the other side, right? Now we're moving on to the passenger side because there's two on each side. You're done with the two. You had the black and the white. I'm sorry, you had the black and the yellow. You're done with those. Now you're moving on to this side. It says number three, the violet, which is this one over here. You're gonna splice it into the yellow wire. The yellow wire is over here. So you're gonna trim this down. You're gonna cut that off. You're gonna wire them together to the violet. Last one is gonna be the gray one. Gray is over here. You're gonna wire that one into the green and white wire. That's your feed, which is this one over here. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. So on your car, when you're if you really want to do this if it bothers you not to have a heated steering wheel you'll cut this off you'll cut it from here you'll cut it from here you'll expose four wires you'll wire them to this as followed on this instruction sheet if you do this just how i explained it to you your heated steering wheel is going to work your light up is going to work because i already showed you that has nothing to do with this plug you'll plug everything back in and everything is good to go now if you really don't want to do this if you don't want to go through the hassle of cutting and splicing and whatnot you can install this without plugging this in. The only thing that's not gonna work is your heated steering wheel. Your light up will work, your horn will work, your cruise control, all that will work. The only thing it's not the only thing that's not gonna work if you don't follow this, and you can leave it alone if you I mean if it doesn't matter to you, you could just unplug this, leave it alone, tucked in here, and the only thing that's not gonna work is your heated steering wheel. Everything else is gonna work, your airbag light is gonna turn off, your cruise control will work, your horn will work, all that will work. The only thing that's not gonna work is your heated steering wheel. Now, if you wanna make your heated steering wheel work, you just gotta follow what I just said. Rewatch this video. I mean, if you got to replay it, replay it. All you got to do is cut these two ends. You got one over here and you got one over here. You're going to expose these two sides. You're going to wire them up, tuck them back in under the screw, put your screw back in. And then after you're done, this harness will tuck underneath this. And once you're done with that, you'll put this last screw back in there and you're done. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now, again, all my orders will come with this instruction sheet. It's very, very simple. If you worked on cars before, there's four wires. All you got to do is match them, splice it, wire them together, put some tape around it, make sure nothing is touching, and that's it. It's done. When you are cutting this, please do not cut them at the same time. What you'll do is you'll expose, you'll expose the wrap first, how I did. You'll cut them once at a time. You don't want to touch these together with your cutter and short anything out. So you'll expose the wires, cut them one at a time, and then re rewire them to the plug I'm going to send you, and then everything will work. So now... This is the complicated part of it. Now, if you have a Jeep, a Durango, it's so easy. Literally plug and play. This plug is the same, and I'm going to show you on the other Jeep that we have. But first, let me reinstall this. I got to unplug my harness out of here. Come on. This one. I'm going to take my harness out of here, and I'm going to install it into a Jeep. If you have a Jeep, now you want to watch this part. Damn. Let me disconnect these real quick. Done. So this is the harness I'm gonna sell you. This was the harness that was in your car. Again, if you do not feel comfortable with wiring stuff into your harness, um, you don't have to make your heated steering wheel work, only if you want to. So I'm gonna reinstall this. I'm gonna tuck these back in how they were, and I'll show you how it looks when everything's back together. All right, everything's reinstalled. Everything is rerouted how it was. Got my two screws back in for these side buttons. I got the screw back in that holds this harness from the bottom. Now I'm gonna plug in my clock spring plugs. That's one. That's two. Now you'll have this plug over here for your old horn. Now if you're going back to your old setup, 
two of them for the wheel airbag. Uh, these are your connectors. Make sure you don't mismatch these. It's not possible. And then once you plug these in, make sure you snap this in. This is the lock, okay? Where everything's rewilded, everything looks good. I'm gonna reinstall that, then we'll move on to the Jeep. All right, so this is the same procedure if you had your light up airbag in here. It's the same thing. Just make sure everything's plugged in. Make sure you're not gonna pinch any wires. Just, uh, just double check all your connectors. Now you'll gently line this up and then done. That's it. Now we start it back up. Shoot, I forgot the keys. Your air brake light is going to be off. And you're not going to have any issues. That's it for this one. Let's move on to the Jeep and I'll show you. It's a lot easier on those. I just wanted to do this one first. That way, whoever is um, dealing with this, you can get it out the way. Again, if you do not want your heated steering wheel to work, if it doesn't bother you, okay, you can just leave. Where's my harness? You can leave this plug alone. Just tuck it in back there. You don't have to cut it. Just leave it alone and then everything will work but your heated steering wheel. Your light up will work, your horn will work cruise control, all these bonds will work, everything will work except the heated steering wheel. So if you feel comfortable on cutting in through your harness, do what I said, use the instruction sheet that I'm gonna send you and splice into these wires and your heated steering wheel will work if you follow the right, um, right directions. But now we're gonna take this airbag, I'm gonna take this harness and I'm gonna show you how to install it into a Jeep or a Durango. Okay, so moving on to a Jeep, this is gonna be the same procedure for a Jeep or a Durango. I'm gonna show you how to do it on one of these. This is so much easier so this one as you can see does not have the light up this one just has a regular srt wheel i'm gonna set up a flashlight in here okay now same thing you'll use a flathead screwdriver just like this and you'll pop off the airbag there's two holes on each side of the steering wheel you'll remove the airbag and i'll show you how to install the light up All right, got the steering wheel off. Now, same exact thing. You have two connectors. You got the yellow, the blue, pop off the locks, and you got one for the horn. Same exact thing that's on the charger. So once again, you'll use a pick tool because you don't want to damage anything. Use a pick tool. Okay, try to set this up for you guys. And you'll unclip the lock just like that just like that and then this one for the horn you see this tab that's right over here what you'll do is you'll try to release that and just by using a pick so you'll put this in here and this will slide right out just like that so i'm gonna disconnect everything and then i'll show you guys how to install the other harness all right got this one off that's your old airbag. I'm gonna set it down over here. Now, as you can see on this one, it's completely plug and play. You don't have the same connectors that you have on the other one. So this one will unplug just like that. You have two on each side. Come on. And then this is the main plug. This is the same plug I'm sell you. And then you got two more that connect the other side buttons. And this white one. And then your clock spring one. So you got one in there. And then this one is a little bit harder. Use a pick to get behind here. And then pull it out. This is the old harness. Put that to the side. This is the harness I'm gonna sell you. This is the only difference is I added a plug to go in here. So this one will go to your clock spring over here. Okay, on some of these, I realized there's zip ties that hold this in. So this harness is held in by two zip ties on each side. Now, um, I guess this airbag or the steering wheel has been off at one point, so somebody cut them. Um, so all you gotta do is cut those, rewire your harness, how I'm doing now, 
and then use two more zip ties to hold it in. They go from the back up to the front, you lock them up and that's it. And then on this side, you have this plug. And it plugs in just like that. You wanna make sure you hear that click. Now this, I have to put the camera down for a second, but this plug over here will go inside. This white one will go into the white one. This black one is for the airbag. This small one will go to this and then two more on the other side. So I'm gonna get that done, I'm gonna route it and then I'll show you how it looks. All right, that's it. Got my two connectors plugged in on each side. Got the main one plugged in down the middle. Now all I gotta do is plug in my airbag to my light up, which is over here. Plug in my two connectors uh, for this one, lock them in and we'll reinstall it and show you how it looks like when it's laying up. All right, that's all done. This literally, the whole thing took me like three minutes to do. Now I'm gonna turn my light on. And there's your light up. Everything lights up together. Literally plug and play. Like I didn't splice anything into this one. Now that's the cool thing. If you have a Durango or a Jeep, this is gonna be the same setup. Now this, you'll line it up. And okay, now once you got everything really installed, just make sure no wires are contacting on each side where the, where the springs go. Make sure they're tucked in. Give it a really hard press. We'll clip in like that. Nothing else is gonna snap back out. Gonna shut off my light. Okay, so once you make sure everything is correct, just how I taught you, you'll literally just give it one nice push. You'll feel the clips kind of like engaging on each side, and that's how you know you're done. So this side. So this side's giving me a hard time. All you gotta do is play with it a little bit. That's it. Now it's not coming back out. It's locked in. No, I'm not taking this wrapper off because I'm reselling this one, but the light is off now. Lay is on. Now you can start it. No lights on the dash. Light up is working. That's it. Very easy. So on this one, of course, has a heat of seat as well. As you can see, the heat of seat is on. We go to climate, controls, the heat of seat is on. But that's it. That's how you install a light up airbag into one that doesn't have a light up. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna show you real quick how to order a kit if you're interested in doing a conversion to a light up airbag. You'll go to my website. I'll leave the, um, the link in the description. Click on shop all. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. You click on shop all. I do have regular ones for sale too. If you have a car that was in an accident or just need a replacement, I do have a couple of those. Uh, the red ones are sold out. I'm probably gonna have a restock on those sometime next week. But I do have a bunch of white ones available, probably like seven or eight of them for now. Uh, but the harnesses is a, the most important part that you need to order. So make sure that if you order the light up, order a harness to go with it. That's the same harness that I just explained to you in the video. And uh, these will ship together. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hope I did a decent job of explaining on how to do this. I know it sounds complicated for somebody that doesn't really work with cars, but if you have the other setup like the Durango does, it's literally a plug and play. You don't have to splice anything up. All you gotta do is plug it up, put the new airbag in, and you have a light up airbag to go. So that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button, and I'll see you back on the next one.